All right, so today we're playing Pokemon Emerald Kaizo. And last time we tried a Radical Red, and that game is just... That game is way too hard, man. So, we're amping it up, all right? <laughs> Instead of taking steps back, we're keeping it on the same level. We're jumping into another game that is considered to be one of the hardest Pokemon ROM hacks of all time. Now, if you're aware of Kaizo, there are a bunch of different games that have Kaizo mods to them. I know there's like Mario mods that are Kaizo version, but the most popular, at least in my eyes, are the Pokemon games. I know there's Pokemon Blue Kaizo, Crystal Kaizo, obviously Emerald Kaizo, and I'm assuming there's more than that, but those are just the ones I know of. Obviously, since we had no luck nuzlocking Pokemon Radical Red, this is not going to be a nuzlocke at all, and honestly, I don't even know if I'm gonna turn this into like an entire series. I don't know if we're gonna beat all of Emerald Kaizo, but I at least wanted to try it out in a singular video, and if this episode gets enough support, I'll definitely bring it back. So if you guys get a thousand likes, 1,000 on this video, I'll bring you guys some more Emerald Kaizo. Maybe we can make it into an entire playthrough. But like I said, this is not a Nuzlocke. I don't want to do that to myself. We're just going to see how hard it actually is to beat this game. And uh, yeah, I'm going to edit it the exact same way as Radical Red, so the pacing is going to be a little bit faster. Let's just do this, man. One thing I'm scared about is I know, like, nothing about this game. Other than the fact it's Pokemon Emerald basically on crack cocaine. I know nothing else. I don't know... If there's, like, you know, Pokemon from Generation 4 to 5 up in here. I don't know if there's, like, legendaries just randomly in the game. I I pretty much have no knowledge of Emerald Kaizo. And I just forgot the intro of Pokemon Emerald, man. This is one of my favorite games, and I forgot the intro. I'm supposed to go to May. Oh, what the heck? I just, there's water here? That's kind of cool. So now we can get an encounter here, I guess. Like, I'm, we're not nuzlocking it, but if we were nuzlocking, you know, that's a free encounter in Little Root. It's kind of cool. But all right, let's get our starter. I don't even know if they're the Hoenn starters. I mean, I guess they probably are. But on the small chance that they change them to some, you know, different generation. All right, so they are Torchic, Trico, and Mudkip, of course. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and pick Mudkip. All right, since this game is so hard, I want maybe the easiest start. That's what I tried to do with Radical Red the first time. Obviously, it didn't work out so well, so I'm sure it'll be the same way here. But let's just start off with Mudkip. And uh, just call it that. Also, the Zigzagoon had Swift, which is kind of insane. Like, it's supposed to have Tackle only, right? That's... That's wild. I'm excited to see some of, like, the new updated movesets. One of the things I love with these games that are, um, like, hardened versions of, you know, real Pokemon games is that they change, like, base stats. They change move pools. I love when they make awful Pokemon or Pokemon that just aren't that great. They make them, like, broken or make them way better. That's just... That's the best. All right, so we nicknamed our Mudkip. I named him IA after my boy Caleb, and what's Naive Nature? Uh, normally, I wouldn't care too much about natures and stuff like that, but people, you know, they, and they make a huge deal about natures, EVs, IVs in games like this, especially like Kaizo, so you know what? That makes me a little nervous, but at least it's not, you know, modest, you know, we're minus attack. At least it's not that, so you know what? I'll take Naive. And yes, ma'am, I will take as many po- <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> so they're really just trying to give people as many routes as possible if they're nuzlocking this. That's what it seems like. Like, why else would they just add grass in these places? They also added paths everywhere. That's so odd to me. I feel like before I take on May, I should level up a little bit, so I'm gonna do just that. All right, I did some grinding, and I got to level 7. And honestly, I wanted to go higher, but it- it's hard to grind in this game. First of all, the wild Pokemon do a lot of damage, all right? So there's that. Then second of all, we do no damage, all right? And third of all, we get no EXP. So right off the bat, I'm already scared for this game. I don't know if I wanna do this anymore. I have no idea what I've gotten myself into. Why did I commit to do this? I have no idea. I feel like I'm about to get destroyed by May right now. Wait, Tackle did a lot. So as long as she doesn't have Absorb, which I don't think so, because we didn't have Water Gun at level 5, we should be alright. Should be alright. Oh, thank god. <laughs> oh, thank god. I was way more worried than I should have been for that battle. But see what I mean? Like, it seems with 69 EXP, we should have gone up a level there, or at least got even closer. But I guess the EXP curve is just... I I don't know, man. It's It's gnarly. But after grinding on those routes in the north, I got a good idea of what Pokemon are there too. 
So I think once we get our Pokeballs here, I know who I want to catch and add to the team. This route right here didn't really pique my interest. There was Togepi, there was Pichu, which is kind of cool. You know, we get a Pikachu early on, get some electric coverage. But what I really want might sound odd, all right? This is going to sound real weird. But let's see if I can find a first encounter. I didn't. I'm looking for a Sunflora. Whoa! A Spoink? I was looking- Okay, I know I said Sunflora. I meant Sunkern, but I just found a Spoink. I'm gonna catch this. This is super cool. I just think the idea of getting access to Psychic coverage this early on is pretty gnarly. We need this on our team. We need this. I know I've been saying gnarly a bunch, but we need this. One. Two. Three. Let's go! I still want to get that sun current, but this is a real cool option for the team. Let's check our nature. We have... Quiet. Okay, that's actually not that bad. That's plus special attack, minus speed. Grumpig is not the fastest Pokemon anyways. We don't really need that speed, so you know what? I'll take it. We just got to find this sun current real quick. There it is. All right. I never thought I actually want to catch a sun current this bad, but I do. I really do. I did a little bit of research on this game. I don't know, like, like I said, I don't know much about it at all. But the little research I did, I found out that, you know, there's Pokemon that are usually bad, that they made pretty good in Kaizo. So I took notes of some of those mods, and Sunturn is one of those, which is why I want to catch it. I noticed it was in this route, so I thought, why not? It's a guaranteed mod that I know is decent, so I probably should catch it. Oh! <gasps> All right, I was, <laughs> Pogo, I was about to say, if you kill it, kill our first Sunkern we find, I would be pretty heated. But let's see if we can get it. One, two, three. Let's go, baby. Let's go. I'm just going to name it Goat. Oh, it was holding a Sunstone. <laughs> no way. I was literally just about to say, I have no idea how we're going to evolve it, because I know it evolves by stone. But there it is. It was literally holding it. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the level up move differences because maybe we could just evolve this right now. I mean, it is a stone evolution, so I bet Sunflora probably doesn't get any moves, but might as well check. So I couldn't really find a source that told me both Sunflora and Sunkern's movesets in Kaizo. I mean, obviously I can find the normal movesets, but I bet they're changed in here. So until then, I guess we're going to keep Sunkern as a Sunkern and we'll just use the Sunstone when the time is right. Sheesh! We do no damage, bro. We do no damage at all. Wait, what? Okay, first of all, we do no damage. Second of all, Yawn works like that now? What? Why would they change Yawn? Why would they change Yawn? Okay, I gotta do some grinding. I gotta grind up to like level 10. I can't even beat wild Pokemon. All right, so we did some slight leveling up. I got Pokemon up to eight, seven, and 10. Pogo is definitely the strongest on the squad. This Pokemon actually hits like a truck. Like I got no idea why my Mudkip does negative two damage every time I go for a bubble. But as soon as I bring out Spoik, it's just a one shot kill every time I go for attack. It actually makes no sense to me. Like watch this right now. Watch how much this confusion does. I'm betting it does over half, like almost kills. It's a straight up one shot. Okay, now, does he have another Mon? Okay, watch this, watch this, watch this. I don't know if I got like a defect Mudkip, if my Mudkip, you know, needs to go back to Mudkip school, whatever. But look at this, just watch. It's actually mind boggling. Bubble? Now you think it'd do, you know, just under half maybe. You know, that's fine. Oh, that actually did a lot more. I don't, you know what? Maybe those levels that I grinded actually did. <laughs> maybe they did help. Holy, I feel like that should do more though, right? Like, I feel like that should be doing more damage. I'm not crazy. All right, with that, I beat the first trainer of Pokemon Emerald Kaizo. It is time to celebrate. You know, I know we had our May fight, but that's the real first trainer. All right? That is a chapter in our book turned. This game is about to be a slaughter fest, man. There is no way I'm beating this. Yo, actually, thank God, thank God I caught this Spoink. I have no idea where I'd be right now without it. I feel like there, there'd be no way for me to get past these trainers if I didn't have this Spoink. Damn, so Pokeballs are only $10 in this game. So either they up the catch rates of every Pokemon by a lot, 
or they just want to make sure that you're able to catch stuff like throughout the entire game that's crazy only 10 all right so oh this route is different that's cool all right i want to make sure i check all the pokemon on this route i gotta look at all of our options see that's pretty decent the c dot okay we got bone zone the cubo now with a lightning rod jeez bone club and rock throw like i said that is a great starting move set that is a great addition to the squad see snubble this would actually be a good encounter i'm gonna catch this all right reason one it's got intimidate reason two i'm pretty sure it's a fairy type reason three i bet they buffed it and grambles just a decent mod anyway so i feel like this will be a good catch and a good addition to the squad but mostly because of intimidate and there we go Honestly, I feel like it might be a good idea to grind in a second just because I want everyone to be at the same level Especially if we're about to go in the forest too. I might just want to grind the two new Pokemon up to 10 as well All right, so with that I beat all the trainers on this route So it's time to go to the forest here Petalburg Woods and I think what I want to do is look at all the Pokemon here See if I can't fill up the last uh, slot on our squad and then I definitely need to do some grinding before we continue on anymore Ooh, Fampy. Ooh, I know we got Bone Zone, but Fampy actually might be what I want instead. I just don't think I've ever gotten the chance to use a Don Fan or even a Fampy, so this would be really cool. I can't catch... Fampy, stay in the ball! Please! Oh my god! This does not want to stay at all. Never mind. All right. I'm not really sure which would be better, but honestly, I just kind of want to use a Fanpy. It's got a worse moveset right now, so I don't really want to make the call, but we'll see. So earlier, I found a Mankey on this route, and I just decided that I actually want to try and catch it. And oh my god, I've been researching for this Mankey for 10 minutes, okay? I don't know where all the Mankey went. I don't know if they just decided to mysteriously hibernate randomly, but this is ridiculous. I'm gonna find a fucking shiny Pokemon before I find this fucking Mankey, bro. All right, you know what? I'm done. I give up. I was so gonna catch a Mankey to have one extra Pokemon, you know, on, you know, be on the edge of Roxanne. It's a fighting Pokemon. Take it out of Rock Gym seems like a good idea, but I seriously can't find it. I'm losing my shit. I'm just gonna start grinding now. If I find one during grinding, I'll catch it, obviously, but dude, this is, this is insane. All right, so I finished up the grinding, and I got all of our Pokemon up to around level 14. I figured this would probably be the best to go through the forest with and then take on Roxanne. I don't want to grind again until we beat that first gym leader because I don't want to be too overleveled, you know? I mean, obviously, I want to be on par with my levels, but I still want the game to be challenging. That's, like, the whole point. So we'll probably stay around level 14 until then. But also, while grinding, I found a Farfetch'd in the wild to the right of Petalburg, and I was like, you know what? Might as well catch it, and it was holding a stick. You know, I kind of assumed they buffed the rate of that just so Farfetch'd would be good, but I was like, yo, we need to put this on the squad, and guys, Chiding does so much damage. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll end up showing you guys, but holy crap, we're using this Farfetch'd for now. I don't know how long it's gonna be on the team, but we are using it for now. But either way, let's make our way through Petalburg Forest, or whatever it's called. I think that's what it is. Make our way through here, and then go to Rustboro. That Duskull had leftovers. Bro, we are in the Petalburg Woods. It is not that serious. Leftovers? All right, so this Team Magma guy's got a bag on. Let's see how much this peck does. I know we're level 14. Dude, that's a lot. That's a lot of damage for a Farfetch. We got the stick. Let's go, Chading. Let's go. All right, we're out of the forest. Uh, no! Is this the bullet seed guy? I like filling my mouth with. <laughs> I have no idea who wrote that line of dialogue and why they thought it was a good idea. All right, now we have our first double battle, I'm pretty sure. I'm actually kind of scared for this. I feel like they got something. They got something tricky planned for this double battle. Oh, only two Pokemon. Sm Whoa. Smeargle and Smeargle. Can I just like, let's see what they're gonna do. Focus, what? What? Focus punching Smeargles? All right. Oh, that wasn't that bad. That was not that bad at all. I don't know what like strategy they're supposed to go for or something, but it was, that was just two Smeargles. To... No way this is, is that red? 
Is this red? I thought that was just a fisherman. Oh my god. <laughs> Retired fisherman? What the hell is this? All right, I mean, I I think we can take on Red here. I didn't expect to fight this dude right now before the first gym, but sure. Oh no, we're for cursing out the Citrus Berry. What's he about to do? I think he's, he's gonna spam Quick Attack probably, right? If he just starts spamming Quick Attack, we could potentially have a problem. <laughs> we could get swept by an Eevee. Please kill. Okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. He's got a Charmander coming out. I'm gonna use Bone Zone here. I, I didn't expect to, you know, fight this guy right here, so Mudkip doesn't have full health. Please don't kill. Please don't kill him. Please don't miss. Thank you. I missed like eight of those Bone Clubs. Like this dude's gotta get some prescription lenses. Bone Zone, you gotta see better, but thank you for hitting that. You got a Pikachu too. I'm just gonna stay in. Surf! I mean, yeah, I can see it. It's a surfing Pikachu, that makes sense. But <laughs> come on, man. All right, how do we take this on? Probably either Pogo or Violet. Yeah, but Citrus Berry just brought him back to full health. I mean, they're so broken early on because all the Pokemon have low HP. We need some Citrus Berries before like, you know, it gets up to level 25 and our HP is just way too high. Dude, that's so broken how Yawn like, isn't two turn anymore. It's just straight asleep. So these mons have a, it's basically Spore, which is nuts. Thank you, we just missed it twice though. Okay, so it's not Spore. Probably like 90 accuracy or something. Maybe even less. Let's go, all right. So with that, we just beat Red. I mean, I think I am a little over leveled, don't get me wrong, but come on, man. I got destroyed in Radical Red. I know this isn't a Nuzlocke, but let me be over leveled for a little bit, all right? It's not a Nuzlocke anyways, like I said. I read up about this game too, and apparently once you get to the Elite Four, all their Pokemon are like over 100 and you're capped at 100, so you can't play over leveled at all then. It's gonna be a rude awakening, the documentation said. All right, so now that we're in Rustboro, I think I'm just gonna give berries to all my Pokemon and I'm gonna run into that gym and see if we can beat it. Obviously, I can't give an orange berry to Chiding because then Chiding is just like half as good as it normally is. I'm gonna take on some of these trainers, why not? Oh my god, I just got one shot. I might need Sunflora. I might need Sunflora for this. Bro, I'm about to white out on the first trainer. All right, maybe we can't take this gym on. What the hell? Ice punch? What the hell is this? What in the world am I fighting right now? All right, thank God. I think we just won. School kid Josh, what are you, Satan? What was that? Ice punching pseudo wudo? First of all, that Aurora Beam one-shotting me, that caught me so off guard. Okay, this game is nuts. It does not even matter if I'm over leveled or on par. I'm not even gonna pay attention to that anymore. This is crazy. I really might just need to put that Sunstone on my Sunkern and evolve it right now to Sunflora. Cause I need that extra power. Let's see how we do against this trainer, all right? Why, why does she have a Yanma? That is the furthest thing from a rock type. That is the furthest Pokemon I can think of from a rock type. Hey, okay. All right, now you're just, <laughs> now that's a stretch. Please kill. Why? Why? And we just learned Quick Attack. That's what I wanted to use, but we didn't have it. That Larvitar had Earthquake! All right, well, we're gonna get a Marsh Stomp here, which is gonna help so much. I wasn't even thinking about that. Oh my God, this is gonna help out tremendously. But Earthquaking Larvitar on the second trainer in the gym. This game is OD, bro. OD. Oh, yeah, there's no way I could Nuzlocke this. Thank God I did not even try. That's a waste of time. <laughs> that would have been a waste of time. Hey, we got our Marsh Stomp. That's what we need. I just really don't know. Should I evolve Sunkern? I think I'm going to try to take on Roxanne once. And if it doesn't work, we're definitely going to try to evolve it. Because I'm thinking, like, the odds that we keep a Sunflora throughout the entire game are pretty low. So, like, why does it matter if... You know, I don't have a good moveset before I evolve into the stone evolution. You know what I mean? 
So we could just do it now, get out of the way, and then maybe, you know, down the line in a few gyms we just get another grass type. Because I bet there's other grass types out there than Sunflora. I just assumed it was buffed in this game. I hope I was right. Oh! Yo! The crit? You are the goat. You really are the goat. What, has it got Aurora Beam? Aerial Ace, all right, all right, nice. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Shit! I wasn't thinking that. All right, we beat that guy. Damn, man. All right, honestly, I'm just gonna try and take her on once. We're gonna see how we do. If it's that bad, we'll probably have to evolve Goat. I'm not gonna lie, we probably will. And that's not a big deal. I just wanna see if we can do it once without it. I'm just gonna save. If I was gonna tell you I'm not scared right now, I'd be lying, all right? I am low-key terrified right now. I, mean, like, I, I could go for a growth, but I don't think we get time to set up, so I'm just gonna click Mega Train and see how much it does. Well, that'll do 15. So we get some health back. Okay, if he keeps going for Seismic Toss, we could get some damage in, though. Before, I bet he's holding a barrier or something. Thunder Wave. I could have growth that turn. I could have growth. Don't have a berry. Don't have a berry. I knew it. She normally has a berry. Why would they not in the Kaizo version? Dude, if all of her Pokemon have citrus berries, this is going to be so difficult. Ah! All right. Well, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> I'll actually take that. <laughs> Cause that mom was giving me some problems. I'm just glad it's out of the way now. I'm sorry, goat. You had to go out like that, but you took one for the team. All right, uh, this definitely has a grass move. Yeah, Giga Drain. Of course. Of course. I want to see how much Psybeam does to this. Because we just learned it. It's better than Confusion. Confusion already does a lot to everything. So how much does Psybeam do? That's pretty decent. Don't do a lot. Oh, that did a lot more than I hoped. All right, I think I just have to go for another side beam here. I think I just have to go for another. I was gonna say, imagine if we got the confuse. I think I'm dead here. Dead. Damn it, man. All right, I just have to come in and revenge kill. I have to revenge kill this right now. Of course! Of course. All right, uh, I, this is not gonna work. I need to rethink this team. I, I, something needs to happen here. At least I'm faster with Bone Zone. Yeah, this is not gonna work. I'm just gonna die. Damn, Giga Drain does a lot. If I can get it low, I can come in and then kill it with Giga Drain. That's a good strat. All right, all right, all right, all right. I have an idea, I have an idea. First of all, we gotta evolve our homie. We gotta evolve our homie goat here into its final form. <laughs> I still feel so weird for using a sun current, but come on, man. You gotta give every Pokemon a chance, and maybe Kaizo is the time to give this sun flora a chance, all right? Maybe it is. Maybe it's got a buffed learn set or something, but we'll see. Look how happy it is. Look how happy. All right, well, a special attack stat is 39, which isn't that bad compared to our other mons, so... You know what? I'll take it. Let's try to take on Roxanne one more time. Damn, I was kind of hoping I'd outspeed now. But it still outspeeds me. All right, how much do we get back with this, though? Oh! This evolution needed to happen. Absolutely needed to happen. All right, I'm going to go for a growth. I figured he'd go for Thunder Wave. That's fine. Because I feel like we can one-shot if we get this... No! No! That's even worse! Resetting. Alright, I'm going to grow this turn. Turn one. Because maybe then, next turn, he's going to still go for Seismic Toss if we do this. Who knows? But I got one growth. Should I go for another? Nah, 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 nah. I'm not that fast. And especially without that, I am not that fast. Thank you, we hit through, at least get to full if it doesn't kill. I know he's just gonna go for self-destruct. Yes! All right, all right, this might be doable. It sucks so bad that we're paralyzed. Maybe if this run doesn't work, I can give ourselves a cherry berry.
Ooh, that'd be broken. We just give ourselves a cherry berry, so then whenever we get paralyzed, it just goes away. But I want to play this run out. I want to see how it works. I feel like I could do decent damage to this Lilip. Oh, no. Never mind. Oh, okay. I totally expected to die there. And we'll actually be able to live again if we get some health back. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank God we're not getting paralyzed. That's the last thing I want to happen. There we are. You get your berry. That's fine. That is so dumb that they all have berries. And all I need to do is get it a little low. We know this. A little low and then mud shot kills. Damn me crit. All right, whatever. All right, well, Mon, I don't really need his Chiding. So we'll go for, we'll go for a pack here. And get a crit. That's what the stick do. That's what the stick do. Ancient power. That's fine. I'm faster than it. Right? Speed 26, 25. Yeah, this is faster. So if I swap in here, I avoid losing as long as he doesn't get a speed buff. Don't get a boost here. Okay, thank you. And now I can just mud shot. Let's go! Alright, so the leap is down. We only have one. It's not! It's not! Oh my god. All right, Cherry Berry. Cherry Berry. This goes out to you. This, this one goes out to Cherry Berries all around the world. All right, Roxanne, I'm taking you on. The plan here is to just set up in this nose past his face for as long as possible. Growth, he's gonna seismic toss. I get two growths at least. Two at least. He's gonna go for Thunder Wave this dude. He's gonna be like, oh, I can Thunder Wave this dude. He's setting up. This would be a good play. Oh. Oh, this is even better. Oh, wait. No, it's not, actually. He can't wait. He can just self-destruct next turn. <laughs> if he just explodes, I'm gonna be so sad. Okay. Okay. Yo, we are geniuses. <laughs> we are actually geniuses. Cherry Berry clicks. Yo, how do you like that? Taste of your own medicine. Mega Drain pops. Yo, this is how you gotta think if you wanna play these Kaizo games, I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna have to do this the entire playthrough. Alright, so the nose pass is down. Lilip is here. I think, um, I think I just go for another Mega Drain. We're faster than it now, which is great, but... The Sludge Bomb is definitely gonna hurt. Oh, wait, we also got a... Gr <sighs> Ah, uh, thank God he's not poisoning us, and thank God we get HP back with the move we're going for. That's the only thing that's helping us. Oh my God, I thought that was a, like a high roll or something. You know, I'll take that. I'll take that. Is this berry gonna pop? It's not. I'm gonna growth again. I'm getting cocky out here a little bit. I mean, not really. I don't plan on sweeping. I just... Oh, he's trying to outplay me. I just outplayed him, though. Yeah, I don't plan on sweeping. I, I just want to be able to get this Lilip out of the way. That's it. This Lilip is going to be the death of me. All right, that's a lot of damage. Sludge Bomb. We're going to live that. And then we just kill on the next turn. You don't poison. If you poison right now, I'm going to have... I, I, I don't know what I'll do with myself. Okay. I still can't believe that, though. A crit! A crit! Really? That's the worst thing that could have happened then. But you know what? It's fine. We should be able to come in and kill. I think. Will that even will that do a lot? That did nothing. He's out of He's out of his move. He's gotta be out of Sludge Bomb. Because why would he not go for it there? Why would you not go for it there? Let's go! Alright! Lilip's out of the way. I was seriously starting to be like, how am I kick like this mod is gonna be the death of me? How do I get past it? Anorith. Um, I bet I'm slower than this, but I just want to get some damage off. It's probably going to go for Aerial Ace or Bug Bite and just kill me, but yeah, I, I, I just wanted to see if I could. I'm still not going to celebrate too early. I, oh my God, because things like that happen, because that could just happen at any time, any time. All right, well, you're going for X Scissor. I think I resist that with you. And then I just quick attack, right? That'll kill. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know it's like still in the red, but it's a chance that could have killed. All right, what's coming out? Let's see. Shuckle. Will I maybe be faster with IA? Maybe? It's a shuckle. It's like base 20 speed. Why am I even questioning this? Why am I even questioning this? Of course I outspeed it, but 
It's a matter of what is it gonna do to me? Cause that does like nothing. He's going for curse. Oh no. Oh no. Attack boost, defense boost. I need this. Thank God I have special moves. Thank God. Obviously he's gonna get his berry here. He's probably gonna go. F oh, he doesn't have. I hate how it hits after. Yeah, this this might not be it, guys. This might not be it. Roll out. At least I got special Pokemon. Psybeam. Please confuse. That would save me. Nope. Oh, wow. I fully expected that to kill. To be fair, its attacking stat is not that great. I just need it to miss. Please miss. I should have done that earlier. Roar. That is how we get past this, is we roar it out. We roar it out the way. Can I kill you? Okay, it's dead. It's dead. Thank God. Possibly, maybe I can do this. Let's go to Chiding. Sand attack. <laughs> That's the only way. Oh, wait. He's got of course he's a yawner. All these mods got yawn. It's so dumb. So, that's so cheap. So cheap. Feel good winning like that. Oh my god! Oh my god! There's no way I get past this last mon. Or is that the last one? There's no way. It's not possible. Oh, it's got levitate! No! That's it. I think the way this game is gonna work for me is I'm just gonna have to take on these trainers over, over, over again until I learn about their team, learn the strats for each and every mont, and then just go from there. I feel like that's the only way. All right, we got the double boost with the cherry berry pop, full one shot of the nose pass. This is best case scenario so far. The Laleep is coming in. I can do like probably more than half now that I'm level 17, actually. Now that I think about it, all right, we might be able to two shot this. Obviously, after the berry, so really three shot, but still. Let's see. Oh my god! Let's freaking go, baby! Let's freaking go! Just straight up crit one shot on the Lily. Alright, so we got the Anorith coming out. I think it's time I go out to IA. Please don't do a lot. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Honestly, I'm just surprised this Anorith is so fast. This is the fastest Anorith I've ever seen. One thing I was gonna say is that this Relicanth is so hard to take on without Sunflora, so I absolutely just need this for the rest of the fight. Please wake up. Thank you. Oh my god, if we stayed asleep that entire time, that would have been a throw. That would have so been a throw, but there we go. Relicanth down. I think only two more Pokemon, and that's it. All right, since IA is so low, I'm gonna try and use it to, like, get the Shuckle down a little bit if possible. And obviously, I do know if he starts cursing up a little too much, I have Roar, so we can just handle that, but... Let's see how much we can do with a Water Gun. Alright, so we Roar out into the Lunatone, and I think here, I just need to die. I just need to get damage off and die, I'm pretty sure, against Lunatone. Because I need a free swap out. Sucks that he's going for Hypnosis, but whatever. I just needed to come in for free with some Flora here, so I can go for Mega Train. God damn it, dude! He lands it every time! Please wake up and then please don't get flinched. Thank you, no flinch! Thank you! Oh my god, I would have been so upset. All right, it doesn't even need to kill. It just needs to keep us alive. It just needs to keep us alive. Please don't flinch me. Please. Thank you, oh my god. All right, guys, I think we did it. I think this is it. This is the W against Roxanne. We just need to get past Shuckle. It's just one Pokemon. And I'm pretty sure we can get past it. The sunny day. All right, I'll Mudshot. It's fine by me. He's so close. So close. Bone Club. This dude, he's got a bunch of special or regular defense, so. All right, Pogo, you're going to be the one to finish it off. Thank God this mon is so slow. We can just come in and, of course, be able to hit it. That'd be terrifying. All right, Shuckle is down. It took me like four or five tries, but we finally beat Roxanne. First gem leader, Pokemon Emerald Kaizo is down. Oh my God, this game is going to be long. That's, that is all I know. <laughs> Dude, I actually can't believe how difficult that was. I thought we'd be able to march in there and just beat it maybe our first or second try. I didn't think it'd take me like 
four or five. Like, that is unreal. That Lunatone messed me up so much. Same with Relicanth. All right, I'm gonna use Violet for a little bit. Just, what the? <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, let's take this route, but I guess, I guess we got trees here now. But let's just use Violet to Snubble so we can uh, get some EXP on it, level it up a bit. I am, do I want to do a double battle here? I'm scared, man. This game, this game is terrifying. This game is actually terrifying. Sure, I'll do a double battle. I'll try one out. All right, so I made it through that route into the Team Aqua member that stole Mr. Brinny's Pico. What an awful, what an awful, awful person. How are you gonna steal Pico? All right, but I'm fully expecting to get bodied right here. All right, I'm not gonna lie. I'm fully expecting to just straight up lose. These mines are level 14. It is a team of six. It's not looking good, folks. It's not looking good. At least I got a level 18 here to lead off with. Chiding's pretty high level now, too, so that's good. But uh, just please don't paralyze me. Please don't paralyze me. Thank you. That's all I ask for. Damn, these water Pokemon having bounce is actually crazy. I, like, there was a magic carp earlier in the game that had bounce, and I was like, damn, that's actually pretty cool. It's just it's throwing me off, man. It's making me think I have an answer, and I just really don't. Let me see if I can take Snoron on this way. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that big of a threat. And then we got Voltorb, last but not least, I'm pretty sure. I think this is the last Pokemon. Yeah, and there we go. All right, that wasn't so bad. Like, I, I really thought we were just gonna straight up lose, but you know what? I gotta have more confidence in myself. I really do. <laughs> All right, so we talked to Mr. Stone, and now it's time to make our way to Dilford City to take on the second gym leader. Of course, you know, we also gotta deliver a letter to Steven or something like that, but most importantly, take on the second gym. Oh, I thought that dude was about to talk to me. He just cut me off. <laughs> we need to take on the second gym leader, Brawly. 